here with Lauren and Lizzie, and welcome back to another episode of Bless TV. <laughs> so good to have you guys with us. Um, for those who don't know who we are, we are Blessed Society. Uh, we are a society that's funded by Emmanuel Church. We started up on Sussex campus a couple of years back, and because of a pandemic, we decided, hey, let's bring it back onto a TV show for your entertainment. Um, so we're here, we love to get together, talk about relevant topics, eat some food, give you guys some food and answer some juicy questions. So Lauren, I'm gonna pass it to you girl. What can we expect in today's episode? We are talking about social justice. We've got a nice Christmas theme going guys. It's December. Woo -woo. It's, it's Christmas! Yeah! Um, so yeah, social justice, Christmas. We've got Arnold answering a juicy question on is God just? Keeping with that theme. Guys, it's going to be such a good episode. And also stay tuned because there is going to be a free Domino's pizza coming to one of you lucky people in this episode. So we're going to ask a spotlight question. First person to answer the question wins some Domino's on us. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, a free Domino's could come your way this evening. Um, we also have some fun activities going on today. So yes. Um, but before we get into that, we have got the lovely Lizzie with us, girl. Hey, Hello. welcome to the show. Thank you. It's so good to be here. Tell us a bit about yourself. What are you up to in life? How's it going? Give us a little Lizzie download. Uh, so yeah, my name's Lizzie. I'm in my third and final year of uni, sad times. Um, I'm studying international development at Sussex. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, Lizzie, are you a I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up at the first of December kind of gal, or is Christmas like two week, two weeks, a week before Christmas? What, what, where is an acceptable time to put up a Christmas tree? I got a Christmas tree in like November, beginning of November, and my housemates have only just let me put it up this weekend. Um, they're like, no, Lizzie, we're gonna hold it out. Maybe, like, um, so keen. Um, I have to look lovely, and now they're like, oh, Liz, it looks great. We should have done this earlier. I'm like, yes. That is how we do it. Um, love that. Times. I love it. Well, guys who are watching, write in the chat, when do you think it is a good time to put up a Christmas tree? Is November too early or is it barely getting started? Who knows? Um, anyway, so as we're having our interview with Lizzie, thank you for joining us, gal. Um, we have got a fun activity. I say fun, it's actually gonna be gross for us, but fun for you to laugh at us. So we've all got different items of food so I'm gonna make a Christmas bauble. Lauren, you've got like a little reindeer, right? Look how cute this guy is. <laughs> so cute. And Lizzie, show us your mince pies. This is quite a snazzy mince pie actually. It's even got like a snowflake on it. Can you see that? Love oh. it. Okay, I mean, that's just a, a quick little food haul. You probably won't be able to see it properly. This is beef paste. Um, I've got some tomato paste. I thought, do you know what, it's Christmas theme guys, so I've got some cranberry sauce here. Um, I've got hot sauce, brown sauce, all to decorate a lovely Christmas bobble. So that's gonna be fun. Um, Lizzie, what, what items have you got? So I've got the actual chocolate <laughs> marmite. Um, and I just found this in our kitchen, some Heinz mayonnaise. We're gonna roll with it. We get started with that then, while we're chatting. Yes, let's get cracking. So we're gonna decorate these um, food things. Whoever has the nicest uh, looking food, you don't have to eat it at the end. Whoever has the worst looking, you've got to eat it at the end. <laughs> okay, so let's get decorating and ask Lizzie some questions. Okay, here we go. So yeah. tell us a bit about social justice background. That's the topic for today and we picked you. So why did we pick you? What's What's um, this passion about that you have? Wow, what an honour. I mean, I don't have a background in justice as such. Like, none of my family are like crazy, like missionaries or humanitarian workers. Like, pretty much everyone is a teacher. And mm -hmm. I kind of stumbled across development, although from an early age, I was like, oh, this is cool. Um, like, I always knew I wanted to work with people and I had a strong sense of justice of like what was right and wrong about the world. I was going to be a midwife. That was my goal, that was my dream, that's what I was working towards for six years of my life. Wow! Uh, yeah, crazy times. I got my place at a top university in London, but I ended up taking a gap year. Oh, this feels so wrong to be doing this. Um, 
And yeah, long story short, I had some crazy God encounters. Um, and then I came back and I was like, wow, like something's different. Um, you know, like the classic gap year cliche, people go away, they find themselves and I uh -huh. become that person. Um, but yeah, I kind of came back different and I was like, okay, I'm not like passionate about midwifery anymore. Like what's wrong? Like where's my love for it gone? I, I eventually ended up pulling out. I had no like plans for a few weeks, which was really stressful. Don't recommend that guys. Sure. The younger viewers watching. Um, and then I ended up um, doing a new application for Sussex and I got accepted like a few weeks before uni started. It's so crazy, isn't it? How plans just change and I'm sure so many people relate to that where they think they're going in one direction and then something else just comes in their heart and you just have to go after what you feel is right doesn't it so yeah. that's really cool that you pursued that and didn't let that um stop you from doing what you actually wanted to do in the end and I'm so glad that you're happy and doing what you want to do um yeah Lizzie you said um that's about how God has impacted your journey of um coming to where you are today I guess there's some people here watching this who might not know who God is or don't believe in God um so it might be helpful just to unpack who God is for you and how he impacted your life and that journey and how he put social justice on your heart like what does Jesus actually say about social justice why is that such an important topic for us to look at I think where my kind of love for it really comes from. Like Jesus was, you know, the most, so, the biggest social justice advocate out there. Like, if we think of, like, the biggest, um, what's the word, like, influencer or activist in justice today, like, Jesus way tops that above and beyond. Like, he was the one that, like, supported women and supported um, those who are on the fringes of society and those who are broken and marginalised. The people that were oppressed by the Roman government, like that's such a cool example. Mm. And he made it cool before it was cool, if that makes <laughs> sense. He was the trendsetter of social justice. And I just think it's really cool that we get to follow that example. That's so cool, Val. So on that idea of like social justice, like coming together with mm. your faith, um, I hear you're part of a society. Do you oh, want to talk no. about that? <laughs> I would love to say a bit about that. So I am part of Just Love and you know I don't know if you've heard of the name but it's not like a weird Valentine's Day or some kind of <laughs> which I feel like it gives the vibe of. Justice doesn't stop when there's a pandemic. If anything it's exasperated justices both locally and globally. So we've been able to run some campaigns, fundraising, um, raising awareness for human trafficking, having weekly prayer meetings, praying to like the big issues going on today. Um, we are like spreading awareness of how people can live more ethically and with justice in mind in their day-to-day -day lives for our social media. We are also running a Christmas campaign this December and it is called Love Our City. Um, and it's basically to get students serving Brighton, loving our community, and just going where like the need is greatest. Um, as students, I feel like we can be very much in a student bubble of like, this is my life and these are my friends and this is what I do, when we are a little bit separated from the world around us. And just mm -hmm. love is about like recognizing that we are students, but using our student days for potential. And just to say, can anybody get involved in this? Is this open to any person from any background, any faith, belief, da, da, da. Yeah, for sure. Um, one of the big things like I believe about Just Love is that justice isn't for a certain group of people. It is for everyone, which is why like pursuing justice looks different for everyone. It's kind of like looking at what's in your hand, like how can I make a difference? What do I have? Do I have time? Do I have money? Do I have resources? Do I have like local partnerships that I can work with? Um, it's not this kind of one size fits all dimension. So the long answer to your question is yes, absolutely. Anyone can get involved. We would love to hear from people. So good. Lizzie, it has been such a joy to have you here with us. Thank you so much just for sharing your passion about social justice. And 
During this December um, period, we are going to be looking more into social justice as Bless TV. And this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to get involved with Just Love and what they're doing to help fight with social justice this Christmas. So if you guys want to get involved, the link was there. Get to Just Love Sussex on Insta and Facebook. They'll be in touch and give you all the info. So very exciting. Um, guys, do you want to show a final result of your Christmas food decorations? Because mine is not so great. Okay, so this is my next pie. Uh, this is the Marmite border, and then there's a little bit of mayo, and I tried to draw a star. Um, I think the lighting is great, but I don't want to draw on my lighting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show my next because I can guarantee that Lauren's is the best, so we'll see if her best to last. We tried strategically to make a design, it did not work, so we've, we've literally just got Christmas bauble with some sprinkles falling off it as we speak. And then here's mine. Oh god. Oh Lauren, that actually looks good as well. Really? It's so good! <laughs> wow. Well, um, you've been practicing, Lauren. You had extra time. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I do with myself, I'm Lizzie. You know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lauren, clearly you have done the best job. Um, Lizzie, you were a very close second, trust. Yeah, I mean, you're, like, you're, you're lying to my face, but that's okay. Yeah, that Mayo star, though. Girl. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but I think Lauren here is the clear winner. Would you guys agree? Feel free to write who you would uh, vote for in the chat. Let's dig in. Let's <laughs> in. What's the verdict, guys? What are we saying? And out of all of the things I've eaten, this actually isn't too bad. Like, it's gross, but it's bearable. Okay guys, it's question time. So you might have had it at the beginning or if you've just tuned in, we have got a Domino's pizza up for grabs. So mm -hmm. get your speedy fingers going, type in at the answer. The question is, who sings the hit Christmas song, All I Want For Christmas Is You? Ooh, baby. Guys, let us know your favourite Christmas songs in the chat. What is your top three Christmas bangers? It is not too early to speak about them. Let's get joyful. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> so now we have got Arnold answering a juicy question as always. So let's hand over to Arnold. Great, thank you so much, Lauren, for that introduction. That's right, my name is Arnold, and I'm here to give you the five minute answer, right? The five minute apologetics. Um, and the question for today is this Is God just? Now, really, the perspective, especially in light of what's been talked about with Lauren, Lizzie and Jess, is does God care about social justice? Is he involved there? Is he a part of that? I really believe that the answer is yes. You know, a lot of people will say that the basis of Christianity is you got to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Well, yes, you know, Christians, they believe this, that you got to just love other people. All religions are the same because their basic message is to show love to one another. The reason you think that is because that's a big thing that we're involved in. The truth is the basis of Christianity is the death and resurrection of Jesus for our wrongdoing so that we can be in a relationship with God. But it was the same Jesus that said that. He said you should love your neighbor. Love not only your neighbor, but your enemy. Ultimately, whether they do good to you or they do bad to you, you've got to extend a hand of love to whoever comes in your path. God does care about social justice. And I want to answer this from three perspectives. The first one is the church. You can see the love of God for the poor, the brokenhearted, the people that don't have much, the disadvantaged, through the work of the church. In fact, when it came to uh, child protection and safeguarding, it began from the church. It happened in America where a church goer saw that a child was being mistreated. From that, she went to another group who uh, came up with the New York or the equivalent of the NSPCC in New York for child protection. That all stemmed from the church itself. The second thing actually actually is in the Bible. In fact, if you there's one person in the Bible, a person called Joseph. 
And in today's terms, you would have said that he was actually, um, a, he was trafficked. Um, his brothers sold him into slavery and he was kept basically as a slave under people for years and years. And the, you can see throughout the story, even though he was in that situation, in that position, God was with him every single step of the way. And when he was treated or abused, God was there to raise him up and help him, raise him up so much that actually God brought him into freedom, brought him into leadership. And the same people that trafficked him came to him asking for forgiveness and aid. You can see a complete change in power dynamic, ironically, in this story. And the final thing I want to talk about is actually Jesus himself. Jesus cared so much about the disadvantaged and the poor. He was always there bringing healing, bringing food. He fed the 5,000. And the reason why he fed wasn't just to show, oh, look at me, I'm amazing. But he was teaching for so long in the desert that he, his heart broke by the fact that these people had to go from the desert back to the towns in order to buy food. And they might have not made it all that journey. So he actually went and fed them and supported them throughout that time. The message of Christ constantly is to show love to those who are weak. In fact, throughout the whole Bible, there are over 100 verses that talk about social justice. For example, in Isaiah, uh, God says that I am the father to the fatherless and the husband to the widows. Um, again, God always says it is my care. It is my passion that you would express love and righteousness to people as opposed to sacrifice. Does God care about social justice? 100%. He's asked his people to care, namely the church. You see it throughout the Bible and ultimately you can see the fullest expression of love in Jesus. Thank you so much and over to you guys. Thank you so much, Arnold, for answering that question for us. I'm sure that has brought up lots more thoughts for people at home. Hope you guys have found that helpful. Um, if you are somebody who has more questions about the Christian faith, maybe you have more questions, not specifically on the question Arnold asked, but just more questions in general about God, who Jesus is, is this true? Should I investigate a little bit more? We've got something to help you out. We've got a course going on in our church called Alpha. We do it online on Zoom once a week. We discover who is Jesus? Did he really die? Did he really rise from the dead? How can I trust in the Bible? All those juicy questions. So if you want to find out more and bring your questions to the table, we would love to help you out in that. If you want to log on, go to wearemanuel.com forward slash alpha and we would love to see you there. What can people do this evening with their time, Lauren. We've got something going on, don't we? I've got something going on. So, at church, we have got a student watch party happening at six o'clock. Um, you can find the link to sign up um, at wearemanuel.com forward slash students. It's just down there. Um, yeah, you can sign up, we play some games, we hang out, we watch the service together. It's a really cool time. Also, as Lizzie mentioned, she's got just love going on. Um, some super fun things happening for Christmas. So if you guys want to get involved with that, check that out. And yeah, I mean, that's it for this week. We will see you next week.